today i will talk about a free blender add-on which is called as easy pbr here you can see this is the gumroad page of easy pbr but to why easy pbr easy pbr because easy pbr is free add-on easy pbr can uh, give you the chance of blending the uh, material easy pbr will give you the chance of downloading from ambient cg about 1600 texture and immediately you will get the material ready in your asset browser so this is the different types of uh, functionality which is uh, in built in easy pbr now you can see here this is the free absolutely just put whatever you want to pay here and click here and download the thing if you download the thing you will get two files one is easy pbr blender add on and is epbr file then you have to unzip the epbr file in a uh, device or uh, in a drive where ample space empty space is there because it will take a huge amount of sp uh, space in subsequent time why i am saying this i will discuss it later so first you just download this thing and then i will go to the blender and will describe the thing how easy pbr is actually function in blender so let's go to the blender these two files one is easy pbr add on and another is epbr library files you have to just uh, unzip it in your uh, drive where ample space is there and uh, okay now go to blender i have already i have already installed the easy pbr here what you have to do you have to after the installation is over you have to go and just check it for activating it and then click here and go to the pbr library path and then browse for the uh, file where you unzip the epbr library zip file okay now if everything is okay this thumbs up will be here and it will valid library okay then load the library then it will say update the ambient cg library just click here already it is updated then after downloading the different texture and after making this texture into a material you can put it in your asset library just clicking here just one click all material will be in your library file okay now i am showing you how to use it i am just making a object if you have to use the epbr you have to go first in shading shading tab and take new epbr will be here here you can see epbr is here just click here and
make anything you want here you can see this is the local this is the online because this texture is not available in my in my epbr library so i have to go online if it is uh, present in my library then it will show in local okay then this is a download uh, shader just click here and then choose the right uh, this is a 2k 1k 2k 4k i am just selecting the 2k and click ok it is just downloading here you can see already downloaded then we have to go the the file here and add all available asset to the library just click on ok it will included in your epbr library that is the easy pbr library now i am going to asset library i have already downloaded something and you can see this one i have just downloaded and this is showing here i am just drag and drop and it is showing here now i am going to shading mode and change the scale according to my need and it is already present here you can see this is the functionality of eppbr you can uh, use it in another way just i'm just deleting just take a new and as i am already downloaded it you don't have to download again you just click here add previous shader before click on this plus sign you have to select the principal bsdf then click add pbr shader so this time i will select node group okay here you can see a node group is there you just connect normal to normal roughness to roughness why you choosing the node group because it will give you the power of mixing two materials now i am showing you just select another one and download it then after selecting this this one add node utilities okay now select both the select both the node group 
and go to the nodes utilities and mix two epbr nodes immediately we can see the third one is there to mix all these things with a factor now again you just again the join the thing with principal bsdf now if you change the factor you can see two materials is blending here you can see two materials are blended here very beautifully this is the another functionality of easy pbr third one is where you can uh, just automatically select and connect two node groups in one click within the easy pbr so how can you do this just like this just again create a new and go to the epbr library every time you have to load the library okay I'm just for the for to save the time I'm just uh, uh, click on local just I am taking this this material to just to show you how to work it just select it and click the button click the node group okay what we have done previously we have actually manually connected all the uh, node to the next node to the principal bsdf but you don't have to do this you have to do just you have to select two node groups and connect to the principal nodes it will automatically connect it and you can see it is done in one click.